Hi, this is Fire from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to try my, um, it's going to be my attempt of creating Elsa. So I'm going to, I've been reading books on how to draw, and I'm, I've gotten some techniques down, so maybe this, it might come out, not sure, so let's see. So together, let's see what we can have, what we can create. So Elsa, the, the portrait Elsa that I'm going to use is one that I found on the internet, and she's looking a little, um, she's sideways with her face looking down a little bit, and what I can see from that image is I see an oval. So the first thing I want to do is create my oval. Okay. And then the next thing I, I see on the oval is her, I'm going to see if I should work on the head line, her hairline. So let's see if I can do that. And I think I need to make the oval a little chubbier. I'm not sure. I hope you can you like the lighting. So now go ahead and speed up the video. And I'm not gonna talk too much on my thought process here, but basically just looking at the image and trying to figure out the simple shapes of the image that I'm seeing on my computer and trying to copy those shapes onto my paper here. If you want to learn how to draw, I recommend two books. There's the one by Chris Art called Figure It Out. It's the beginner's guide to drawing. And the other book that I truly love, I mean that's the best book I think I've, I've bought so far, is the one by Jane Davenport called Beautiful Faces. And Jane also has some tutorials online that you can enroll to, on and she will teach you how to draw beautiful faces. The other artist that inspired me to try my hand at drawing and painting is the Art Sherpa and her mother, Ginger Cook. They break down the art, the, the drawing process and the painting process very simple. And Ginger does have uh, monthly classes or subscription that you can buy and she'll, she'll teach you how to draw. And then the other artist that I love watching for watercolor is um, is the Fugo Crafter. They are my three of the artists that I, I see time and time again and I'm subscribed to their channel and they're the ones that inspire me to really draw. Now the inspiration for this drawing was from Ginger Cook because she has a challenge this year and her challenge is that we draw something every day. Once a day we're going to draw a draw some kind of image and to carry a little um, notebook and draw wherever we at. So I'm going to try to do that, but at least I'll try to do at least one drawing a week and then we'll see how well I do at the end of the year. So we're not, I'm going to go ahead and just let you enjoy the, the, the process, this art process, and I hope you like this type of video and we'll see you at the end. Actually, they color pencils, and they're they're off off name brand called U Brand. I got them at Costco, and they I like them because I have the ability to use them like color pencils. They're pretty smooth, smooth, and if I use a little bit of water, they do work and react with water and work like watercolors. So I you know I have the best of both worlds, and the price for these pencils were about six or seven dollars. They weren't too expensive. 
and they were a set of 48 with a sharpener and a little pouch so I thought they were a great price so I've been using these more than any other color pencils that I have in my stash So I completed my Elsa. It's not exactly the same drawing as what I see on the screen, but I do like the, the painting. I do like how the face came out. I need to work more on profile for her, the, the mouth. I don't have that angle quite yet. The nose, it looks like the nose and the eyes have the correct angle. It looks like I got this correct, so I did get this right. The eyes, they're okay. I did get the eye, eyebrows, the nose, I did get the nose right. The only thing I wasn't able to get right is the mouth. So I have to work more on how to create the mouth in proportion. But I do like the oval face. The hair, I do like how the hair came out. The ears came out okay and it's about the angle that it needs to be. I believe I did it right. Um, other than that. I do like the painting so this is my first attempt of creating Elsa and hopefully it will get better in time I will keep working at it and working on developing my drawing skills but it, it does look nice for my art journal so I hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye now